already removed all honey supers as you can see first week of August because we want to treat the bees as soon as possible we want to bees to be backfill their stores from the winter time now what we're gonna do is arrange the frames for winter configuration we're gonna find how many frames of brood we have and how many frames of stores we have we are gonna arrange our brood is down in the first box and the honey is on top in the middle so they can move it above their cluster and we want the brood to be down in the first box this time of the year so they can defend themselves from robbing. Robbing is a big problem. Last year we um, had some extra honey when we removed uh, our honey supers so we placed that honey on the, um, on the bottom so the bees can move it up and create big honey domes up, uh, on top of their uh, brood and cluster. But uh, we had a big problem with robbing last fall. So this, we're not gonna do that. So uh, simply because of the robbing problem and the smell. And later we'll have colder nights. So the bees, when they cluster above the honey, they're getting robbed by wasps and by other bees. So this year we're having all brood down to guard the entrances and we're gonna reduce uh, the entrance, not, not have them fully open <clears throat> and have honey on top. Another thing that we is new to this year, we're introducing double deep frames in the middle of the box, uh, two frames uh, in each box. We're, we're uh, dedicating like uh, 50 of our hives that we're gonna try uh, doing wintering this configuration and see how that's gonna work. And other, uh, we're gonna winter around 150, 160 colonies. So the rest of the colonies are, are gonna be a regular double deeps. For those people that winter in double deeps, we're gonna show them, you know, and how we do that. And also we're gonna show uh, the progress of double deep frames. So as you know, also uh, that we are doing uh, our nuke and package hive uh, right next to each other and we're showing throughout the year how they develop and what we do throughout the season. So last week we removed the honey from, from, um, from both of them. Uh, Nuke Hive did better. It, it had full um, deep frame full of honey and uh, medium that, that was partially, partially made. Our package hive had only like two two three frames that was capped and ready for extraction so i would say the nuke hive is a lot uh, i mean it did a lot better i'm gonna take a look at these two hives and see how the frames are um wh where the brood is where the food is and we go go from there Okay, as we can see, there's a lot of bees, good number of bees. That's what uh, we want going into winter. We don't want weak colonies, and now is the time if we have weak colonies or the queens that are not doing so well, we want to requeen this time of the year. We want to go into the winter with young and good laying queen. I always like to remove the second frame. Wow, this frame is full. It's full of eggs. Eggs and larvae. And they're creating this thick honeydome above the cluster. So they have 10 frames and we are going to remove one frame so they have these thicker honeydomes. And on this side you can see 
there's a lot of brood all oh, larian eggs okay so our first frame is all pollen you can see the pollen and big thick honey dome above this queen is doing really really good so we have this side is pollen and this side is brood and that frame is brood so two frames of brood so far we need to give this queen some room so they can still I mean swarm if they if she doesn't have place to lay they can swarm okay this uh, frame there's storing nectar so this will be a good frame to move on the side so that's what we're gonna do so they can back fill with honey they're a little bit nervous because we because we removed their honey so they're wondering what's going on they want their honey back you can see they're eating the honey that we spilled right here so you need to have confidence you know when working bees do it slowly don't rush take your time uh, don't be nervous don't put some perfume on you slow and steady and they can they can recognize that see uh this is all cap root. Really, really nice queen. So we need definitely need to give her some room as soon as we can. This is all honey. Big fat honey domes. This is what we want in our top box. Have all this honey so they will move this honey and then she will move uh, from the bottom box up and then winter and have honey surround her in all directions. Okay, all honey. So two. I think this is all honey. Yep. So this is all honey. Okay. Let's see what's going on in our first box. Huh? 
So at this point, I don't need to find the queen. As long as we have eggs, I know she's there. So they're getting a little agitated because we removed their honey. So this time of the year, you want to wear some kind of protection. So I put my whale on and some plastic gloves. I don't like these bulky uh, leather gloves and the full suit get pretty hot. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Okay, so we have another frame full of brood cap root very nice pattern as you can see and she should be start slowing down pretty soon so we are gonna have eight frames of brood bottom and two frames of honey on sides so this is all all brood Two, this is our brood, three, this is our brood, cap brood, four, These are just uh, cups, no eggs, but we definitely want to give them some space, that's for sure. Okay. So, let's move this one up. This is honey, and this one they didn't, they didn't draw, so actually they did on this side. So we're gonna remove this one. Okay, let's see what we got. So we have one full, extra, full honey frame that we're gonna put on the side. We have brood, one, we have two brood, three brood, four brood. This is the pollen. So we have four frames of brood right here. This is the pollen and brood on this side. So four and a half. Actually, we're gonna, uh, yeah, one and a half. Okay, so we're gonna move the brood from the top box to the bottom. <clears throat> gonna check if we have frames that doesn't have, they don't have the honey, honey dome on them. Okay, so this is a good brood frame 
to put down. So we have five, six, you right? So this is honey, this is pollen. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six frames. Okay, so I'm gonna put this brood frame down. Seven. I'm gonna put this foot frame down. Okay, so on this frame, we have brood on one side and we have pollen on this side. So that's going to be our last frame to go down. Alright, so our bottom, frame, our bottom box is ready. We have, what we have here is honey frame, honey, honey and pollen, pollen. And then this is all rest filled with brood. And now we are going to put our top box. This is going to be our wintering config configuration. So this all brood, try to limit your frames removal when we put this box on top. So they create the comb between the frames. So they're going to create this comb between top of this frame and on the bottom of the upper box. And that's going to be as a bridge, so the, the bees move up uh, toward the honey during the winter and they don't have this dead space right here. That's the, one of the reasons why I use this double, double deep frame in the middle, so they go, so they don't have this uh, dead space between the boxes. Okay, let's move some bees. Okay, so let's see what we're going to have in the top box. What I like to have in the top box is to have at least five frames of honey in the middle if, and then have four frames, uh, two on each side of uh, drowned foundation. So this is empty. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five frames of honey. And this one is partially empty. Six. And then want the drawn foundation frames. I like to put four on the side. So they can backfill like their stores, uh, especially like during the fall. And we're gonna put treatments now too. So we can't use that honey, you know, for the human consumption. I have frames that I backfeed to the bees. Okay, and the fourth empty drawn frame right here. So they have four frames on the sides. Why we want these four frames? We want them to backfill uh, these frames with honey. I like to overwinter with either eight or nine frames. So I'm gonna take these extra frames and feed it to another colony. We wanna uh, continuously provide room for the queen and for bees to store honey. So we're gonna keep close eye on these frames and see if they uh, fill it, uh, we're gonna remove and keep adding, you know, new empty, like uh, drown, drown foundation frames. If not, they still, 
you know they'll have eight frames for them so this way the brood is gonna move up and it's gonna create a honey dome like this and uh, they're gonna winter between these two boxes uh, this way so you want because bees move up and feed up if we didn't uh, rearrange these frames what can happen is they can create cluster and winter in the top box even if they have food down they'll die or if if this is all honey you know and if if they uh, don't move and avoid this space they can also die in the bottom box even if this is full of honey so we want them to cross between the boxes and winter partially in this box and in this we want them to winter right here that's why we have to keep close close uh, attention and see if they moved half of these frames like uh, honey from these middle frames and move them on the side so the queen lays in top of the box too and in the bottom box not just we don't want them just to be in the bottom box and this all honey we don't want that we want one like this so I hope this helps someone and um, this playlist is going to be wintering bees in the cold climates we're going to continue um, doing these videos so thank you for watching and happy beekeeping